All right, what's up, family? Unfortunately, this was the damage that we had after that Hurricane Helene. Didn't destroy the house, just the own it where it covers the shade in the patio. That's about it. But more work. Uh we actually originally didn't have no damage, but what we did have was over here, as you can see that tree there. That tall one there and that one there, they were leaning. So I guess from the storm, they was leaning very prominently towards the house, extreme. And that tall one there, that one went way up. So as it was leaning, it was clearly gonna hit the house. So I wound up having to cut it before it hit the house. But when I cut it, cause it was definitely gonna hit the house. I had to cut that little one there too. As I cut it, it wound up being so tall, it wound up hitting the awning. Luckily, it didn't touch the house. But as you can see, it did some significant damage. Uh, we had so much trees back here. Look at this big thing. This is a thick one. Look at that. Damaged my fence. Uh, we had some other ones, too. We put it all up to the front already. We had a lot. A lot. See, something broke over there. Uh, the damage... To our awning, I'm gonna fix this myself. Uh, I got my work cut out for me. You can see all of that there. Yeah, it's, uh, it's split like it's split in half. This side of the awning is fine, but uh, this side is totally done. So I'm gonna do it myself. I'm gonna get a whole new awning and install it myself. Um, had a little misfortune though, you know. As I said, sometimes things happen that way, you know. You may have some damage or you may have da uh, damage that's eventually going to happen. Like you may not have no damage at all. And then all of a sudden, it's like a person in a car accident. You ever notice a person in a car accident? They say, oh, I'm fine. I'm fine. I I'm good to go. But the next day they wake up and they got back problems, neck problems or whatever. case. That's how I took this here because we only had leaves and tree branches back here. That's all we had. Stuff like that right there tree branches we didn't have and then under under my esophagus we had some damage i had some missing pieces that was real simple i fixed that myself in two different parts uh but then like i said like a person with that car accident they find at the moment at least they think they are and then days later they got significant pain that's what this was we seen it leaning over and we said we ain't had no damage and we thought we'd be fine but it was so obvious and no matter how you cut this tree because it was even before it was damaged the way the tree grew it like grew up and then it bent forward like in an s shape it was the most craziest thing and then the, after the storm it leaned so significantly towards the house it was so obvious it was about to hit the house so i had to had to clip it and um by doing so eventually it caused all of that but as i said uh you can see it didn't touch the house let me give you a better view from a distance it didn't actually hit the house at all it just hit my awning. But that ain't cheap neither. That's still gonna cost me a penny, a nice penny, you know what I'm saying? But let's get to work, peace.